Should you upgrade your ChatGPT? And so hopefully this video allows you to make that decision. On the left here, we have the paid ChatGPT Plus. On the right hand, we have the free version of ChatGPT. This is the desktop application too, by the way. Remember, there's a mobile application too, and also a desktop application. On, you can see here, we have ChatGPT Plus. It's asking us to upgrade, and it has ChatGPT here for everyday tasks. I believe this is ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, maybe, or just ChatGPT 4. I'm not sure what the free one uses any longer. I have to check. But you can see here, it has the search the internet feature. It also has a reasoning feature, which I think uh, this might be ChatGPT 4.0. I'm not sure. We'll double check that though. They both have the advanced voice feature here that you can use. And so you can see this one here in the paid ChatGPT. We have Dolly, which you can gener generate images, and also Canvas, which is like uh, Microsoft Word for ChatGPT. And then you can see up here, um, there's several different models that we can do, which do a wide variety of different things. ChatGPT 4.0, 4.0 with task. I made a video about how the task work. The O1 is the advanced reasoning model. And then the new models, O3 mini high and O3 mini. And so I want to just put in a, hey, what would be a good way to test the, the limits of the free version of ChatGPT versus the paid version of ChatGPT? All right, and so we'll just copy this in on both of them. We'll hit submit, and then we'll hit submit. So just get a good idea of what these for. And so you can just kind of see how much faster this ChatGPT is than that one. That was, that was pretty unbelievable, actually. And so you see this, try these. Long responses, ask for a 1,000 word. Okay, so let's do this. Let's ask for a 1,000 to see where it cuts off, all right? Look at that, I mean, you can just clearly see the difference in answers. Um, and so we'll try it then. I, I hope this already, you probably don't need any more convincing in terms of what we need. And so here's just a 1,000 word. All right, so now this is going faster. And so here's a, a 1,000 essay, the impact of artificial intelligence on workforce development. Uh, and it's just gonna do out, you know, Wow, it's actually pretty robust, ChatGPT. And then here's this one. This one's actually doing well too. I haven't actually used the ChatGPT free in a long time. So I didn't, I didn't know what to expect here. But you can clearly see that this model is much faster than the free ChatGPT, right? You can see that it's still going and thinking. And I'm also probably going to guess that this one is a little, probably a more structured, probably better. Um, uh, yeah, and this ChatGPT is still going. So, all right, yeah, I'm I'm over the free one. <laughs> um, and so here's a good way why you might want to let's let's go with uh let's go with request advance. Give me an example of this. What's an example of this? Um, here's an example of a mosty. Okay, write a Python script that yeah, and then okay, the free one. I have no confidence that you're gonna be able to do this. Okay, here's a Python script that. That goes. It's a little choo choo. That could. So, actually, the free one. So, I'm going to say that the free one is probably great for getting the training wheels on, just jumping in and learning how the machine works, like understanding what it does, what kind of outputs you can get, like what, what it's capable of. And so, this is a very much so an introductory point for learning just basic, fundamental understanding of how ChatGPT works. But if you really want to, uh, leverage. I was going to say leverage. That's a chat GPT word. If you really want to leverage the power of artificial intelligence, then you're going to want to you want to you're going to want to pay twenty dollars a month to be able to start really using chat GPT. I, I, I'll assure you this. It's the best return on investment that you'll be able to make is getting a paid version of ChatGPT. So if you have any questions, there's a prompt library that exists inside of my link in my bio where you can find different prompts to try different scenarios. Um, and also let me know, let me know. I'm, I like to engage in the comments. So let me know if there's any questions. Peace y'all.